Hello YouTube, I'm Army Reviews 1, or Tom, and we're doing a vlog. It's been a while, let's catch up. So, we're gonna go in, go in, go in an order here. Um, bot news first, because most of you are Transformers fans. Kind of geeky news, because I imagine some of you are into that sort of stuff. And then me news, because might as well. So, bot news. Um, I recently picked up Silverbolt. I really like him. Surprised I like him, um, because he does literally turn into a plane with a robot underneath because you can do that but he's, he's still cool I still like him I like how he looks he doesn't have a light piping yes oh, doesn't have light piping it's so good because it means even on a shelf he still has blue eyes and as you all know light piping on a dark shelf means all of your transformers have black eyes it's just dull painted eyes are the future also the past. There's just that weird bit in between. Still bot news, but not Transformers. Uh, in, about, in the year 2000, might have been 2001, I think it was year 2000, uh, I saw my first ever series of Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. And the Christmas of that year, I got the Super Train. And I got the Rescue Megazord, which is the one inside here. It's that one. Uh, you can see the bit of it back here as well. A couple years ago, I also managed to pick up the Solar Max, which is the blue thing attached to it. But a couple days ago, about a week ago maybe, I got my genuine actual Holy Grail. Uh, it's that because I've wanted it for 15 years, which means I was three when I first saw it. I managed to get it thanks to Mr. Snowden, so thank you. But I now have the Omega Megazord. Yes! I don't care that it's incomplete, it's missing a piece here and it's missing a shuttle. But I don't care, look at it, it's awesome. It's really cool. Um, actually, one thing I like about this, I really, really like the um, cooler mode. Basically, it's... I'm not going to do proper reviews for this. Uh, I'm just going to show you the thing. So you do that. You go down. Down. The arms come out. This is a bit tricky to get the arms out sometimes. There we go. That one would have it, but that is part that's missing. And then that comes down, attaches there, take this, and it attaches there. It has like a cooler tank mode. How cool is that? It's great. Uh, also, die cast. So much die cast. This is really heavy for how small and scrawny he is. Okay, right. Bot news over. Now to sort of geeky news. I imagine all of you know I go to conventions. I imagine most of you know I cosplay. And uh, I've I'm been making two cosplays at the moment. Uh, and most of it is in that... Or most of one of them, sorry, is in that cupboard. But I have the helmet of it here that I've just finished. And although I'm going to cosplay Constantine, I have made for him the helmet of fate. I'm really happy with this. It's my first ever foam helmet build. By that, that's to excuse the kind of lines. They're not perfect seams. Um, it's not perfect by any means, and the eyes are slightly different. But as my first ever foam helmet build, I'm happy with how that came out. And especially on camera, it looks really good. Like from a distance, and you can't see all the lines. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Really cheap to make as well, which I love. I'm also making another cosplay. This one is about 50% done. I've got to finish the other 50% in the next three weeks. So that's going to be fun. But it is Batman. I'm going to be Batman. Uh, it's based on the Dark Knight 
Returns and Batman vs Superman suit, the armored suit. I have changed it a bit, number one, because as again as my first full armor build, still not great with this stuff. So I'm kind of doing basics and starting like Batman, because like uh, in the movie, the ears go straight up from here, and then the crest is longer. But I'm happy with how it looks. This isn't its final colour. It's going to go grey. This is just a rubber sealant to seal the foam before I paint it. Uh, the other helmet had it too. Yeah, I'm looking forward to having this done. Um, when it's done, you'll definitely see some of it. This is going to be Batmobile or MCM. The Arkham Knight Batmobile. I'm definitely going to get a picture with, with this in the Batmobile. Still on geeky news. Um, this is... Kind of a bit of a haul video. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I just want to talk about it. Um, I've read like loads of graphic novels recently. Um, I'm currently reading Nightwing Bloodhaven. After that, I'm reading Nightwing on the Razor's Edge. I got these from LSCC. I have read George R. R. Martin's The Hedge Knight, which is a Game of Thrones prequel. It's actually a song of ice. Actually, no, it is a Game of Thrones prequel. When it says that, it means a Game of Thrones is in the book. Not the series Game of Thrones. Because this is... You can tell by the stuff they're wearing. It's the books, not the show. Um, comics, comics, comics. I just finished reading Kingdom Come. I love this because the Spectre is probably my new favourite superhero just behind Nightwing. Um, this is really good. This would be an awesome conclusion to the DCCU. If they ever, you know, if it gets off the ground. We'll see. I think there's actually most of my graph. Oh, no. No, no. One more. This isn't from LSCC, but it's one I got around the same time. I've read The Spectre, um, Volume 1. So good. I love The Spectre so much. And look how pulpy it is. <sighs> the smell of pulp pages. Still on a little bit geeky news. I'm relating to one of those. Um... I am actually, I'm just on my phone, currently listening to an audiobook of A Game of Thrones. I am three and a half hours into it. It's a 33 hour book. So that's going to be fun. Um, actually, it is going to be fun. I'm currently halfway through chapter 10, which is John's second chapter. I'm enjoying it. Uh, it makes my, my hour walk home from college a lot more interesting. Finally, a bit of a me news. Still actually geeky because everything about me is. Um, doing college, obviously doing media. Um, the audio should be better on this actually because I'm using a Zoom H4N microphone, which isn't mine, it's borrowed from college. And I've got it because of what I'm doing on the weekend. The audio is not going to be as good as this from after this video. It just while I've got this, I might as well use it. Um, this weekend, I'm recording a small documentary about uh, the owner of my local comic shop. Uh, and that's what this is for. It's going to be fun. Um, you will see it because it's going to be uploaded to My Street Films, the competition. Um, it will be on the Vox Office channel as well. Um, so you'll be able to see it there. I'll make a video here to show you to it because I imagine actually a lot of you would be interested in it. It's the focus of it's not on the shop itself. It's not meant to be an advert. It's about turning the passion into the job. Uh, seeing how someone or seeing what someone thinks when they turn from the fan into part of the creator. He did actually write a comic. Um, but also, you know, to run in a comic, and comic shop and how that affects him and if it's brought him closer or further away to comics and tabletop gaming and stuff like that. So you'll see that. I'm looking forward to that. Um, I will try and do some more vlogs. Um, I quite enjoyed it. Just got to try and find things to talk about, you know? Alright, so I'll see you next time, which is probably going to be a I'm probably going to be after I've finished my documentary which is called uh, The Demon Behind the Grin because the shop's called The Grinning Demon and I'll see you next time bye